This information was gathered and presented to help rescue groups, shelters, my clients, other colleagues and their clients, and even veterinarians and their staff to help determine logically and analyze logically what option is best for a dog that has serious behavior problems. Reactivity and aggression. Uh, in the shelter, we're gonna look at a little dog to dog. Typically you might see that by growling or barking uh, when a dog is passing by the kennel door or even the dogs are fighting uh, from kennel to kennel. Uh, you might see fence fighting if you have the opportunity to have dogs outside um, the shelter. You might see stillness. It doesn't always have to be very demonstrable. Um, straight spine, straight approach, very forward, lots of staring. Uh, this is an assessment on a dog from a shelter. He had not shown a lot of signs of uh, aggression in the shelter other than very stiff, very forward, and um, very intense. And yes, these guys do have to utilize what they have. Uh, it would be um, unsafe to utilize a real dog, so we do use uh, the decoy dogs. And this is this is interesting. The area of the country. Um, I had a golden retriever that I worked with uh, that was extremely thunderphobic when I was in Texas. And you know what? We rehomed him to someplace in California where thunderstorms are rare and the dog thrived, so yay. Uh, so weather can, can certainly contribute to some trigger stacking. Uh, 